Hey there, dragons! I'm back and I'm trying out a new series. This is gonna be a, a mod face off. We're gonna compare two very similar mods, and um, e even though it says face off, you know, we're probably not gonna really make it competitive. It's more like just uh, opinions and uh, showing you what each one has to offer. But anyway, if you like this idea, if you want to see more of these, please like, comment, subscribe, suggest some more mods for me to compare ones you think that would make uh, good matchups. And let me know your opinion on which mod you prefer, or if uh, you can't stand to live without either of them, if you need both. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so today we are comparing the Castle Forts and Keeps mods, the remastered and the legacy version, and I totally forgot to see who makes them. I feel like I knew this at one point in my life. One sec, I have to look this up. All right, so for the remastered version, we have Exile Acid and Gimel Had. Gimel Cad Had? I'm so bad at names, I don't know why I try. And the Legacy version, uh, Exile Acid is the only one listed on the Legacy version. Let's just look at these first since we're over here. So these are the crafting tables for the Settler. These are the Settler crafting tables. In the Legacy version, it's called the Carpentry Table. So we have Settler and Scaffolding in the Legacy version. And in the Legacy, the Settler one is the only one that has Scaffolding. And then the equivalent of that in the Remastered is the Settler Table, which has their things a little more organized. They got all their things in categories here. They, okay, yeah, they have scaffolding in with the walls. But they do not have scaffolding foundations, which the other one does. But they do have fence foundations and fence posts. And then the cosmetic changing tool for the remastered, you have one, to, you can craft one in each table, but for the legacy, it's only craftable in the, it's only craftable in the masonry t table. So yeah. Carpentry and settler table, and then for the next tier we have the villager tables. This is in the legacy, structures, villager, all that stuff. And par palisade, I don't, it's, it's a fence. It's a fence and a gate. And this one, it has a little more stuff, or at least it's more organized into different categories. But they are kind of the same, it has a few more decorative pieces, I'll show you those. And the masonry, this one's actually divided up on the legacy. And this has some stuff you don't have in the uh, the remastered version, like if we go blacksmithing. There is a blacksmith table you can craft in here, and then that has other stuff you can craft. And then I also, I don't know if there was banners in the other one. If there is, I forgot to spawn any in. Yeah, no banners. And seeing blacksmithing in here, you only have a forge. They have decorative stuff? No. Or miscellaneous section? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's just take a look. So I built kind of a little stable. I should have made it too high because I can't... I can fit my horse barely under there, but uh, yeah, it's not easy. So this side over here, this half, is the legacy. And this half over here is the remastered. So let's come down here and look at the foundations. First, the legacy that's on these stilt foundations. Remastered has full blocks. And then the the model gun. Oh, that's right. This one you gotta hit R to change the gun for what it's doing. And then it also has different frames, so you can probably... Yeah, that's how you change up the wood, how it's laying. Then I'm curious, does this work... on this one at all? No. And this one, I don't think it changes the colors or anything, it's just sort of which way it's facing. And kind of what design you have. The structure variants. Oh, hold on. Let me put the gun away first. Yes, but the gun just cycles through all these. And stairs, for the uh, legacy version, there's no stairs in the settler. For the carpentry table, we have a ramp, though. 
And then on the remastered, we have stairs that you can turn into a ramp. Huh? Then these railings. Actually, I don't think they had railings. These are both from the uh, the remastered version. Yes, my brain is not working. Let's see, this is how you can change up the doors. Not the doors, the, uh, the walls. And this it just changes the uh, what kind of wood it is. Oh, there it changes the style a little bit too. What does it do to these? This is the fence. It will snap to foundations. You can also just free float it on uh, on the ground, but it won't snap to itself. So if you're trying to just make a fence on the ground, you have to kind of... You gotta finagle and hope you're guessing right. And these are just some like... Uh, some railings in there. Some dividers. Got those. I think the pattern on this changes up. Yes. And then this is actually um, a wall with two windows, but I kind of like this for like a stable divider too. And that just changes, yeah, the wood down there. These are bars that go over your windows. There's no shutters in the remastered. This is just a doorway, a wall that has a doorway and a window in it. This is an offset window. And this is a centered window. On the side... See, you're in the way. Back it up. Back it up. Okay. Let me off of you, though. Without getting me stuck. Go over here. Just... There. Go play in the field. So here... Put your gun away. Wrong one. So these windows, they have shutters for. If I could figure out how to close it, please. I probably have to go outside and close it. That's very inconvenient. There we are. And then we just have one doorway. And then here's the fence where I just tried to, like, free... freehand make a pen. I didn't quite line it up right, so I had to finagle that one in there without it snapping to the top of the other ones. They'll snap on top of each other, but they won't, like, snap to each other. Like the ends. So I don't, I don't know. They will also snap onto the vanilla fence foundations and vanilla fence posts. But, um... Yeah, I've tried. I'm using SS on uh, on this game right now because I'm I'm just testing it out to see how it compares to Structures Plus, and they would not snap onto the SS, the Superstructure Fence Foundations. Here are the scaffolding foundations. It's just a foundation with a hole in it, and you cannot stack foundations on this one, but they will snap, like on the lower level, they will still snap to each other, so you can continued to build out and down or out and up. Since I didn't have room on my little barn, this is the gate that they have in the legacy version. And just some arches and the scaffolding. And these are just uh, more archways. Maybe that's an arch piece if you wanted to build your own and then you have the, the standalone arches. There's the other side of the arch piece. And this is two arch pieces and a center piece. And the center piece has to be snapped to a fa to a ceiling, so I put uh, I put some scaffolding ceilings up here, and then just showing the the little peak roof, and then the, all of them have the peak roofs and arches. Okay, remaster version. We have obviously you would want this not going into the building to be on the outside. Like if your roof was like going down on the side or something, but yeah, this was only a convenient way to get it to snap. But this is just a valley found it, a valley uh, roof. We got the peak, we got the middle pointy bit, and we have corner roofs. This is the it's um a ramp hatch. Yes, words. I'll learn them one day. So I guess uh, since they've done. I was gonna say, since they don't have a ramp, you could kind of use this as a ramp if you kept it closed, but I can't really run up it. <laughs> I guess you just use it for some cellar doors. There we are. Maybe because I dropped... Oh yeah, see I ran over the handles, that's what messed me up. Okay. So this little beam on the floor here is just like a decorative piece. You can put them on the floors, put them on the ceiling. Just, I don't know. I guess they're just to line things with to look nice. And then they have different styles of arches, like there's 
one. There's another one. There's one. There's another one. There's another one. And we have roof extensions. You can just hang these off of your roof to make it hang over the side a little bit. Here, these are the gates. We have the medium size gate, and they have a big gate. And the other settler one just has a big gate. They didn't have a medium size. And this is... Are these the fence posts from the... Yes, settler fence supports. So these fence supports are actually from the remastered version, and they will support the fence from the legacy version, as well as these half walls. They have half and third walls in um, all of the remastered ones, so you can make a gate out of that if you didn't want to use the legacy version fence. I almost forgot. Pillars. In the remastered version, you can snap pillars to corners like this. I guess it doesn't have any variants. Okay. However, in the in the legacy version, you can only snap pillars in found like the center of foundations or like out from foundations. So you can't make it look fancy put it along the side. Maybe if you snap a, a fence foundation to the edge of your foundation then you could, like uh, most people do with vanilla built building to do that trick. And here's like our different I don't think there's any different designs on the pillar, it's just different wood textures. Let's check out the stuff from the villager tables. This is the legacy. We have some big doors. Open up these. For some reason these, I don't think these have an auto. Yeah, these do not have an auto. I think in the legacy version only only the uh, the keep stuff has an auto. Although, did this have an auto? I could have sworn this door opened on its own. Didn't it? It does. Why do you have auto opening, but the villager stuff doesn't? I'm so confused by that. So for villager stuff, you can make it look like plaster, so you can make this kind of look like the legacy one. See? Legacy one looks like a little bit cleaner plaster, but still. Then you also have... Um, stone? I forget what stone. Nothing on that one. That's just a variant in the design. So is that. And that. And then back to the brick. They have the half wall all in the legacy, but not the third wall, like in the uh, remastered. Again, just showing the pillar. It looks a lot like the one from the Settler. Do our doors have any different design or are they just... No, it just changes color. Okay. And then here on this one... We have stairs. They both had stairs. These ones do not turn into a ramp. But you can turn them into closed steps. Like that. And then on these... You can't really change the texture, but you can just change the design. Or these decorative things you can stick along the walls, see up there. They also snap to the floor. Just any seams, really. And then this, this is the, uh, uh, hatch ramp, yes. This is the scaffolding in the remastered villager. We got third walls and half walls. We got medium size gate, large size gate, and double doors. Got a single offset door. See, it's on the side of the wall. And we have doors with windows on the sides. And you can also change the look of the windows. I don't remember if they- I don't think there were shutters for these windows. They're just glass windows you snap in there. And the door doesn't change. Okay. Oh, yes. And then half wall and third wall railings. Of course, we have solid railings and the not so solid railings on our. for our stairs. Okay. And these, I did snap some right here to the side, so you can snap those to corners. 
But I just like uh, put one out here so you can see the different designs because these actually have some cool designs on their pillars. Anyway. Okay, and before we get to the keeps part, I want to check painting on these. I have yellow paint loaded up because it's very bright. Now you can paint, I know you can paint the legacy version. You see, do that, it's bright yellow. But it only has one pink spot. So like, uh, if I change to green, I click on these, it's not gonna... It's not changing anything on it. It's just that one first region paints the whole thing. Whereas these, I'm not sure if you can paint because it doesn't show up here. So we're just gonna we're gonna tap green and see what happens. Okay, so it seems to be the same thing. The the number one spot paints the whole thing. Let's see if I change it like this. Now if I hit it. What if we put, let's put black because that'll show up. No, I don't want to put it, oh, okay, I just did the brush. Let's just put black in all these other spaces since it's not showing up and see if anything changes on it. There we go, now we can see. So yeah, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh yeah, and hatches. I put hatches up here just to show off the hatches, like... The one for the legacy or for the remastered is very big. It's the full size of the ceiling, and the one for the uh, remastered is very small. It's like just in the center of the ceiling. So I guess it just depends what kind of hatch you like. Huh? Yes, yeah, so let's uh I'm walk around back see if they did anything to the back of it. Nope. Okay. So same thing. Region one just paints the whole thing. It looks like. We're gonna try these. So that painted the wood. Let's get our green paint. It looks like it just paints the wood. Actually, let's make the wood green because it's easier to see. And then I want to see... Does it stay like that when you change it? No, I think that just reset it. Okay, I guess it only has... Okay, so don't ever change the model after you paint it. Let's try one of these where we haven't changed the model. <laughs> okay, so that works. So yeah, don't ever change the model after you painted it. Oh yes, and I forgot to show the door. They just have the one door, they don't have double doors on this one. And you have the option of uh, window shutters. That's in the single window. And I think this one already had the glass in it. I don't think you put the window in separately. Yeah, it's the whole wall. And these... Okay, these actually show up. Do the walls for the villager set show up? No? Okay, so that one does the... Five on that one does the panels between. It looks like six did the wood. But for some reason these short walls show up, so if you forget, I guess you could test on here and see. Oh, uh, you can paint the foundations too. <laughs> Have a pink floor. Alright, time for the keep. This is a very messed up, mis mishmashed, just thrown together keep because I wanted to show off as many of the building parts as I could. So one thing I really like about the Legacy is they have round, rounded foundations. Like it's a, it's kind of like a triangle, but it's rounded on one side. So you can make like legit round towers. <laughs> they have rounded walls to go with them. The round walls with doors. And there's a bunch of doors on the front of this. You got your windows. Just kind of have a little bit of everything on here. So, got your large door, your double door. We finally got some double doors. This is the por porticulus. Porticulus? I, I don't know how to say these words. The gate thingy that lifts up. <laughs> it has its own frame. It's different from just the double door. This is like your regular size door. I mean, it still has double doors, but it's like just listed in there as a regular door. And I think the door frame from this one is actually like called archway. Yeah, archway instead of door. And the crafting table. We got your prison bars. 
This is just a, a wall with two arches in it. So like a... I don't think any... I don't think any of the doors fit in there. There's none that I could find. It's just arches. And then this is... your prison door. This is... Stop it! Put you on... There's manual. Okay. So this is the fireplace. So it's normally just the fireplace and then separately you put that bar in there and that's where we, you would put your meat and stuff to cook. And then you have a pot there for like all your other cooking needs. And it can irrigate it too. It, pipes will snap to this thing and you can lead them out to water and, and then we have the chimney and the chimney has extensions you can put on it so you can get it as high as you need to. And this is a wall with just two arched windows. And this is the secret wall door. A window with a shutter you can attach. A door. And a spiral staircase. The other one does not have... the remaster does not have a spiral staircase and I'm very upset about it. Alright, so our battlements. These ones actually, uh... These round ones will actually extend, like, see, this is, see where the ceiling ends and the battlement starts, so you can actually have a little bit bigger of a tower on top. Oop. Oh. Wrong way. However, doing that, the, uh, the battlements coming off from the other side kind of cross over on top of it, because it extends out further. So you have to jump. We have little ceilings that are... Uh, corners with like a rounded thing so you can attach them to your square ceilings and keep that opening round. And I just have different battlements along the side here. Just the hatch. This is the large hatch and small hatch. They have two different sizes for the keep set. Just different types of round battlements. More straight ones, different types, and these are the the wood railings and they have round ones too and of course we have round roofs to go on our round towers and a windmill. I'll go inside and show you what the windmill is running in a minute. I think that is all the battlements and of course our roofs and let's just show you what all these can turn into. That's the mossy one. This is sandstone I believe and this is I think it's called hellfire or brimstone? I don't know which. What is that? Yeah, hellfire. Okay. Does that make this... Oops. So it's red granite right there. Red granite does nothing to the ceiling. What does the hellfire do? Did I do a sandstone on the ceiling? I did. Okay. I don't think these have... Oh, they do have a mossy one. And a sandstone. Oh, hey, they got one of those too. Oh, I don't know why this wasn't changing before. Okay. Go back to where were we? What is this one? Oh, that's the dark matter. Dark matter apparently doesn't work on the roof. Then, uh, obsidian, I think? Ooh, that does work on the roofs. And this one, what is this one? Oh, not R, hit E. I can hit the right one. Wooden. Okay, that's what it is. That does not work on those. It does work on the roof. And it kind of makes the roof actually look like the, uh, the remastered ones villager set. Except for the floor, those are... Some cheap looking floors. Does not work on the battlements though. This is also craftable in the masonry table. This is a stable bedding. It kind of just looks like a thatch roof to me. Or a thatch ceiling. You can probably get the same effect with a thatch ceiling. <laughs> more of the windows. Oh gosh, please stop opening. You're so loud. More fancy windows. And this is our millstone. And in it... You basically make everything you make in your chemistry bench. And it is powered by the windmill. Also, for some reason, I think something snaps wrong because the the drive shaft uh, junction thing, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, drive shaft junction. Instead of coming out of the end of that part of the windmill, it snaps in the middle on an X like that. And so I had to do some more junctions to get it away from the walls so that wasn't clipping through the walls. There's also a, a water wheel that will power that too, and that one actually attaches right with the junction. The junction will come straight out the wall, and instead of an X, you'll have like a T. But uh, the water wheel wall is a, 
a regular wall is not a rounded wall, so I don't know. Anyway, so here is uh, just some storage chests you can make. Squared off door, and we got the uh, the arrow holes. And this one has both stairs and a ramp, and only one style of a railing. That is the big gate thingy that lifts up, and up here is just an example of the arches. Down here, we have a forge. It's called a keep foundry. Oh yes, and the stairs you have these uh, angled stairs here that you could use for like in corners and stuff. Yeah, stop opening. Yeah, automatic opening things are really nice when they're quiet. More windows, different types of windows. Oh, that just changes the round. It doesn't change the window. That was open. Anyway, so in here, you make all kinds of stuff. You can make helmets, shields, restraints. There's just shackles, uh, structures, and prison execution. We have a pyre. I have a short on my YouTube channel where I was testing that out with my friend Eddie. You should go check that out. It does work, by the way. And then we have our siege weapons and ammo forum. Uh, storage is where you, you store your ammo. Target. There is an archery target. I have that outside. I'll show you in a minute. And we have a drawbridge too that also will attach to the the frames for the gate thingies that I don't know how to say. And this is just the non-see-through version of that one. They have a one that's filled in. And this is the large gate that you can snap a window into. So instead of a gate, you just have a pretty window to look out of. If you need a really big window. And this is the 3x3 three three wall. That's just up there to show. And then you can also snap... You can snap vanilla walls to this stuff too. And this is the behemoth gate in the legacy set. And back here we have our siege weapons. I want to test them out. I've been waiting all day to do this. Okay. Let me have this. I will take that. Thank you. And... Did that do any damage to it? Oh, a little bit. Let's try this one now. Also, I put another one of these in my pocket because when I put it down, I realize something cool happens. Let me find it. When you first put them down, they are just a pile of wood. Can you hear that construction sound? Watch, it's slowly going to build itself. See? Check that out. I thought that was neat. Okay. You set. Well, you set. We're going to come over here. Um... Yeah, bucket shot. Why not? What does that do? And... Let it loose. I think it threw it over the wall. Okay, so... <laughs> that went over the wall. Did it hit anything? I don't even know. All right, now I want to try... I want to try the flame shot. I'll load that into the other one. Oh, I hit all the way over there? Oh, dude, it set it on fire, too! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, how long does that burn for? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm done with that now. I'm glad I did this at the end. After I did those. How much damage is this taken? I was continuing to take damage. I mean, how much is this one taking? It's got a little fire on it. Yeah, it's taking damage. Yes, I know I'm hot. Ah! How do I get out? Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're done with those. Okay. There is one more thing I want to try out. It is in my inventory. i put that on my bar here. We're going to put this by the castle. There we go. And then... And we gotta run. Okay. It did some damage. 
Okay, and the pyre doesn't really work unless someone's tied up there. Like I said, I tested this with a friend before. Like, you hit it with a torch. Let's see, it's gonna smoke a little, but it'll put itself out unless someone's actually tied up there. If someone's tied up there, then it goes up in flames, and they die, and the whole thing collapses. Is it actually gonna catch fire? Without someone being up there? No, oh, maybe they changed it. Or maybe I just didn't hit it right the first time. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, see, it goes out when no one's up there. Some other goodies in this one are various weapons. Which I want... Give me one of the crossbows. There are two crossbows. Let's do those first and we'll test some of these arrows. Um, so the... The flint arrows and the trank arrows are basically just like the vanilla ones. They're just made for the, uh... The crossbows and the longbow that come with the uh, Castle Forts and Keeps mod, but they do the same thing as the regular ones. We have Arrowhead Flame. We're gonna equip that one. Oh, do I have to put it on the arrow? I think I equip it to this. Okay, so I don't need the heads because I already have the uh, actual arrows made. <laughs> I know what I'm doing sometimes. But usually not very often. We have Flame and Barb. Bobkin. We'll do the Bobkin arrows in that one. Okay. So, first let's check out these, uh, check out these weapons. That is primitive arbola, arbalist. Ugh, words are hard. Okay. So let's just... Okay. And this one is... Ooh, it's a double one. It's a royal arbalist arrow with the barbed arrow. Does this one shoot two at once or is that just what the barbed arrow is? What do you mean I missed from 15 meters? Do I need to aim higher? Do they drop? Is that what it is? Outer bull. Okay. That's as good as I'm gonna get. I'm not very good shot. And we have the longbow. I put these other arrows and I forgot what they were. Did I go over or did I? Really, these ones rise instead of fall. Okay, that's good enough for me. We also have a snare grappling hook. Yeah, I think that's all. I think those two can only go on the crossbows. Which actually, does this let me climb things? Oh, it doesn't reel me in. Oh, wrong button. Maybe that would help. Okay. I just realized I don't use grappling hooks that much. I don't know how to get down. I just put my weapon away. How do I get out? No, for real. I'm stuck. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, crouch. We good now. This one should be a, a grappling hook. So, like, for catching animals. Here, I'm gonna catch my horse. Horsey, come here! So like your bola, but on a... Can you move now? Okay. Yeah, hold to remove snare. I'm sure it would wear off in a little while, just like a regular snare. So how much of this building is destroyed after that? That fire, did it... Oh my god, they're still standing. How much damage did it take? Do you heal? You were literally on fire. Okay, I don't... I don't understand magic healing buildings. Okay, that part still hurt. Or still burnt. I don't know. Okay. We done. Anyway, let's check out the rest of the weapons real quick, and then we will look at the remastered's keep stuff. Okay. So there's one of the shields, one of the swords, one of the axes. I'm not going to bother naming them all. There's a whole bunch. Different axe. Another sword. Small daggery sword. Another kind of curved sword. An axe. We got a mace thingy. A hammer. And a spiky club. We got the big shield. And also... There is a knight's helmet. 
I wish we had armor of equal shininess to match it, but I don't know, maybe you could paint up this metal armor, make it look right. Okay, let's let's take that off because I look better with my hair out. Okay, and then shackles, I can't really show you on myself, so. But, uh, you know, if you have shackles on someone, like if you knock them out and drag them up to that pyre and put shackles on them, it will attach them to the pyre, and then you hit it with a torch. And they will be gone! So this is the remastered keep. So here's the drawbridge for the remastered. Since we're back here, let's look at these. These are the gates that I couldn't fit on the castle. You got your large. And the behemoth gate for the remastered is not nearly as tall as the legacy version. I don't know what's up with that. I've tried stacking another gate on top of it and that doesn't work. So you can't like extend it to be even taller. I'm probably sure you could get... Still get a Rex and a Giga through here. And this is... Um, I don't think this gate would snap to the ground. Maybe... I don't remember. Maybe I didn't try. <laughs> But this is one you can snap a window into instead of the doors. And then this is the 2x3. Two yeah, 2x3 two wall, 2x2. Two two. There is the ramp hatch. And you got a 1x2. And then just a vanilla wall to compare. So this one does not have the rounded foundations or ceilings. But they do have uh, triangles. The other one has triangles too, but they're like a right and a left angle triangle. Where these are the... Uh, the even ones, kind of like in the uh, struct the the vanilla ones, then when they added the structures plus triangles, so you can make like a triangly tower, but it's not going to be perfectly round. But you can also make the towers bigger that way too, because those ones it's just going to be a a two by two tower with the round ones. But then to do this right, you make the round tower, and then you got to come across here with more triangles, like these are triangles put together. And then you can do squares, like in the centers, but on the edges here. It's going to be triangles going across. And this one only has two variants. You have the regular and you have this, uh, this, uh, dark stone. I forget what it's called. What are you called? Uh, field stone. That's what it is. Okay. You got cut stone and field stone. And the roofs don't change. You have these little spiky bits you can stick to the sides of walls. That stick out. Those right there. And then these are the different types of battlements. You got the ones where you pour stuff on people's heads. Only one size hatch. That's okay. And the gables on this one have windows. They have a uh, non-windowed gables too. I just I like the window ones better. Inside this one is much cleaner because there wasn't quite as much to show off. Got your arrow holes. There's a wall with two arrow holes. Get your prison doors, which just fit into the regular doorways. And then the these doors, whether it's a square, a squared off doorway, or a rounded doorway, it will adjust to fit. Same with the prison doors. This here, I think, was this my hidden door wall? Yes. So you still have your hidden door in the wall. Big giant round window. And these windows here. These, I think the glass is actually separate, so you could leave it open if you wanted. You have a double door prison cell and a bell you can put in here. There we go. Ring the bell. This is the, another one of those wall decorations that you can snap in places. And you have the arches, two different variants. You got one where it's just two pieces come together to make an arch, and then these two, there's a center piece that goes between them. And this is the small gate same as that one but with a window snapped in it got the lifty up gate the big gate double doors more windows lots of windows small round window this is their forge but we don't have a blacksmith thing this is their prison cell wall but no blacksmith thing to make cool weapons with how am i going to destroy the world and this is uh, shutters. Yes, I had to think about it. Those are shutters on the windows. Instead of the glass paneling, the glass, so you can choose either or. That's a wall with two windows in it. No round stairs. So that's a little disappointing. And I think... Oh! One more thing. I was gonna say that's everything, but there is one more thing I need to show you. Also, we need to test the painting on these. Okay, so this shows up. 
Okay, so number three looks like it makes the whole thing pink. What about this underside? Okay, so one makes the underside pink. Does anything make the, the bars pink? I think that made it a little pink right there. Okay, so it looks like just one and three are the only two that do things paint-wise on this. I want to paint you. I think that does the whole thing. So yeah, it looks like one and five. So yeah, it looks like everything's paintable. It just for some reason on the... Some of the walls, they just don't show up on here. You just kind of have to, like, look behind it in here and see what changes the color. Which I don't like, because then it's like you can't really paint it without committing. Okay, so number five on that one. But that, I think, is everything on these. Only thing left to show you is the water mill. <gasps> Similar to the windmill. I had to go build it near water, of course. Alright, I didn't build a whole building for this. And this, of course, is in the legacy one. See what I mean? How the junction actually comes straight out of the wall on this one? Yeah, it just makes more sense. I don't know why it works on this, and I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I put a junction out, lifted it up, put another junction, and then straight bars out, and then you put a bar down from that junction, and then you snap the mill onto it, and see the water wheel? As long as you got a little bit of it in water, it will run your mill. And I think that's going to be everything. So yeah, I guess my final thoughts, I kind of, I feel like the remastered version is a little easier to build with. It has some nicer looking pieces, but at the same time, I also feel like it's a little less diversatile. Like I like the round, I like the round ceilings and foundations on the Cla Legacy. I like the battlements in the Legacy and the different uh, weapons and stuff that you get with it. Oh, something else too, if you want bigger towers than uh, the round ones on the uh, Legacy version, or if you want a perfectly round tower on the on the remastered version. I did... I know there's, there's a lot of tutorials on how to do this building trick. I probably screwed it up because it's not perfectly round. But where you like, you use um, a square foundation to get triangle foundations inside of each other and then snap a... Uh, square foundations out from that and it kind of makes a perfect round circle uh, with the vanilla or this is actually SS ones but you know the vanilla uh, foundations uh, I did that to see and make sure that the both the legacy and Cl and remastered castle forts and keeps walls was snapped to it so you could make a big round tower this way but yeah that's um it's about all I got to say about these mods personally I, I kind of feel like I need both I don't know if I really like one more than the other. I'm a little more partial to the Legacy one just because I've used it more. Um, I've used it longer. But the pieces in the remaster do kind of look a little nicer. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, it's a toss-up for me. I, I'd maybe probably say I gotta have both. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I think that's going to be it for me right now. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And also leave suggestions for other mods you'd like to see face off. And if you ever want to watch me do these videos live, I usually stream them on Twitch while I'm recording them. I'm trying to get a schedule going there. I've had trouble keeping a schedule. It's it's hard. It's single mom problems, you know? But yeah. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. You know, maybe give it a like or a dislike if you absolutely hate this idea. Just please give me some kind of feedback. <laughs> And if you want to see more, of course, subscribe, hit that bell, and hit all the buttons that YouTube wants the buttons to button. And catch you next time. Bye-bye.